it. Okay, back to the um, the Stratus Lounge show, which you may or may not remember uh, being a political commentary show. So I'm back on the Facebook page. I haven't checked any of those. We're going down them in lists. Um, okay, so here we go. Steve Darrow says on the Bill Whittle Stratus Free Lounge page, I'm sorry, on the Facebook Stratus Free Lounge page, we were discussing the best way to introduce people to you and your work. Just saying go to BillWhittle.com may be overwhelming to someone who doesn't know you. Which of your many videos or essays, accepting your unfinished series, uh, We the People Point to Put Out, would you consider the best introduction to you and your ideas? That's a very kind question, and I'll give it to you so people can back up. It's an easy one for me to answer. There's several that I like. Um, the most important work I've ever done, without question, is somewhat depressingly pretty much the first work I've ever done, and that's the true story of the atomic bombs. I am not 100% sure that's on my YouTube channel. If it's not, it's going to be. Um, of all the things I've done, I think that's the only thing that I would actually consider a historical document. I think if you watch that video, it's 17 minutes. If you watch that video, after it's over, the idea that we shouldn't have dropped those bombs just doesn't, there's just no one who can believe in it. So if that's not up, I'll get it up. Um, but of the stuff that I'm 100% sure, and the reason I didn't have it up is because it belonged to PJTV. Um, then um, of the ones that I know for a certain factor there, there's a couple I like. If you want to have somebody intro introduce somebody to my stuff who's not really uh, conservative or not really sure, I would start with a firewall called Why We Suck. Basically, Why We Suck is about the fact that, you know, liberals say conservatives are straight-laced and they're mean and they're, you know, blah, 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 and then they're basically that we suck and they're right. We do suck. And here's why we suck. We suck because, you know, we don't believe you can print money. It'd be nice if you could, but you can't. So that sucks. We believe in personal responsibility. It's nice if you could run around and borrow all this money and then have, not have to pay it back, but you do. And yet yeah, that sucks. And basically it's explaining why conservatism sucks. And it's, it's, it's I think it's rather good introduction. Um, Eat the Rich is a terrific video, if I do say so myself. Um, Eat the Rich is uh, interesting because it it gives you people a sense of of economic scale. Basically, in Eat the Rich, the research of which was done by Iowa Hawk, by the way, um, he basically says you could take everything, and I mean everything, from all of the corporations in this country and all of the rich people, and you might run the government for a year. Because if you took all the money from Exxon and Walmart, all of their profits, not, uh, not tax them heavily. If you took it all, you'd run the government for four days. It's $40 billion. We spend about $10 billion a day, roughly, something like that. So Eat the Rich is rather good, I think. Um, number one with a bullet is, uh, is a, a video I like very, very much. Uh, it's, a, it's a gun control video, and I like that one because it's very simple. Um, very simple, and it's got a, it's got a good amount of data in it. I'm rather pleased with this climate change thing, Bill Nye the Science Lie thing. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out. Um, and Steve says I should do a best of page, and that is a suggestion that is going into the bank. In fact, that suggestion is getting written down right now because that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a, a, a best of. It's a fantastic idea. I'm so glad I thought of it after you did. Um, a lot of people liked uh, the virtual presidency uh, inauguration speech on guns. It was called Guns. Um, I thought that was rather good. Uh, the entire virtual presidency series is something I'm so proud of, and it didn't do very well at all. I think it's because it wasn't on the news cycle, but um, that's a members-only benefit. Uh, so um, we send that DVD out and signed personally autographed to, to people when they become members. So there's that. Uh, iconography, I thought it was rather good, um, uh, showing how subtle the use of all of these things like color and font and, and you know, all, all these graphic design elements, how, how powerful they are politically and how the left has used them. That went back to 2009, I want to say. Three and a half days, um, is uh, Claudia just pointed out, is pretty good. It was dealing with Occupy Wall Street, and it basically says, stop crying about corporations, you babies. Take three and a half days. That's 1% of your life, and go spend it out in a cabin without any electricity, water, or food, and you'll start appreciating companies like um, Exxon and, um, you know, and, and um, Johnson & Johnson a whole lot more. Um, I liked uh, I liked the lynching. 
which is the Trayvon Martin um, video. And I like that one because I thought it did a good job of correcting people's images about that. So in any event, um, I'll put together a short list, and if I've missed anything, for God's sakes, let me know, and um, we'll make it a special page. It's a brilliant idea. Um, we're trying to think about doing some cosmetic, um, complete redesign of the show cosmetically, of the uh, website cosmetically. So thanks very much for that, Steve.